Mash gradients everyone, this is what we are going to be doing today. We are going to animate them in Elementor. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but they are very trendy, especially in Figma design. And I said what better way to experiment with mesh gradients animated than to try them in Elementor to see if they actually work. Well, they do work and it's awesome. So what you will need is Elementor and Elementor Pro is even better. But if you only have Elementor, then watch this video here to learn how to add code to Elementor because we will need to add some custom code. And I will guide you through all the steps. And this is what we are going to be doing. Merry Christmas, by the way, if you're watching this in December. <laughs> and how beautiful is this? Look at this beauties. So I have another example here. So if you see, there's like texture on, it's called noise. So let's see how we can achieve this. Okay, first thing we are going to be doing is create our mesh gradient. And for that, I will be using a tool called Measure by CSS Hero. And I'm using this tool because it exports code. So we need the code. We don't want to have, we don't want a PNG or a SVG or anything like that. We just want the pure code that's going to be generated. As you can see, you can randomize the gradient but I honestly recommend that you create your own. So let me delete a few of these gradients. Let's add, let's go with purple and let's go with this yellow and the base color. This is the base color, the color of the background. It's going to be black. Oh, this is really nice. So I'm choosing only two colors. I think that's fine. You can also change the position of the colors basically by dragging the points that you see here on the screen, whatever you want, let's say here and here, and you can also put them on top of each other. So if I move the yellow on top of the purple, it basically goes on top of the purple, if that makes sense. It is very subtle the change, but you can save. All right, okay. So you can also save it. You can add it to favorites, which I'm going to be doing. And to do that, you just select the heart and go to favorites and you can see you have it here. Now, let me just move myself because you cannot see. So what we can do or what we should do is basically go to export and copy to clipboard or just select the code and let's move on to Elementor. Okay, once in Elementor, make sure to select the container that you want to mesh gradient animate <laughs> and go to advanced and add a class in the CSS classes box. And I'm going to add this class mesh test. All right. And I am going to bring in the code. How beautiful is this? Honestly, I think this is gorgeous and this does not look good anymore <laughs> here. I will delete it. All right, easy peasy, right? I think it's okay so far. And uh, because I, I like the noise in design, I'm obsessed with noise. Now, in order to create some noise, we can also do that in Figma, but it's easier if you just find a generator that does that for you. So I found this tool and I will of course link it in the description below. And basically you can just adjust the noise density, noise opacity, the background color. I will leave it this color, whatever this color is, grayish, transparent noise. And this is the size. All right, let's download it. Let's go in Elementor. Let's go to style and background overlay. This will be a background overlay, not a uh, background image and let's add our image i will just drag it in select loading and insert media and this is how it's looking of course you can adjust the noise as you see it hit um you can have it less noisy more noisy more opaque it is all up to you but i find this tool so good and let's see it in full swing yeah i think this is a very nice thing to know and be able to do in Elementor. And let me know in the comments below how you're going to be using this new skill that you have acquired. <laughs> you want to know what else you can build with Elementor? Watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.